Hey guys, welcome back to Technologic. Today we'll be taking a look at the Gigabyte Aorus 5. This is the mid-range option offered by Aorus. Is this 15-inch gaming laptop for you? Continue watching to find out. Let's go. A portion of this video is sponsored by the Aorus 15G gaming laptop. It features the latest Intel processors and the powerful NVIDIA RTX GPUs. Check it out at the links in the description below. Also, watch till the end for a chance to win some cool Aorus merch. Let's move on to the Aorus 5 review. This review is not a sponsored review, but it's my view on this laptop. Firstly, let's look at the specs. The RS5 comes in a few different CPU-GPU combinations, but this is the one I have here. This machine has the latest Intel i7-10750H processor. It is a 6-core 12-thread processor that can boost up to 5GHz. For the GPU, we have a GTX 1660Ti graphics card with 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM. There is an option to upgrade to the RTX 2060 if you want the extra GPU power. The 1660Ti is a decent graphics card and can handle AAA titles well. Moving on, we have 16GB of DDR4 memory and a 512GB fast NVMe SSD. There are two M.2 slots and a 2.5 inch hard drive bay which means you can upgrade in the future. I will leave some links in the description below, you can check them out if you want to. Next, let's look at the performance. I ran one CPU benchmark, one GPU benchmark and two games. Firstly, for the CPU benchmark, we have Cinebench R20. I got a decent score of just under 2900 on this benchmark. This means that most CPU intensive tasks such as video editing and some gaming will be smooth on the Aorus 5. For the GPU benchmark, we have Nova Bench. I got a good overall score of 3032 and a GPU score of 1113. This shows the performance of the GTX 1660 Ti and we can see that it is decent. It should be able to handle 3D intensive games such as GTA 5 easily in medium to high settings. For the games, we have Valorant, a CPU dependent game. I got over 230 FPS on max settings and the gameplay was very smooth. We can see that this game can take full advantage of the 144Hz display which we'll talk about later. Finally, we have Rocket League. It is not a demanding game, so I consistently hit the maximum 250 FPS on maximum settings. This kind of performance is great for gaming. Next, let's look at some of the hardware and features of the Aorus 5. Starting up, let's take a look at the build quality. The chassis is made out of plastic, which was kind of disappointing. However, it was still very sturdy. There was little to no deck flex or keyboard flex when pressing down hard. There was some screen flex but it did not wobble during normal use. Moving on, I could not open the lid with one hand as the battery is at the back of the laptop. Speaking of battery, the Aorus 5 SB has a small 48.96 Watt hour battery, but it is replaceable. It lasted for about 3 to 4 hours on a single charge with normal usage. It does come with a 180 Watt power supply to keep it running at full power. Moving on, the bottom panel is also made of plastic and was sturdy. The laptop is on the thicker side with a thickness of 27.9 mm and just weighs over 2.2 kg. However, I will still say it is relatively portable for a gaming laptop, especially with that removable battery. Next, let's look at the keyboard. It is a high quality membrane keyboard that feels nice to game and type on. It is quiet and has a good amount of travel. It also has RGB backlighting that can be changed in the control center. The layout is easy to learn, but the number pad was a bit squeezed in. Overall, I would say it's a good keyboard. Next, the touchpad is huge and takes up most of the available space. It does not click down everywhere, but it has two separate buttons at the bottom. The trackpad was responsive and was easy to use. Next, we have the screen. It is a 1080p 144Hz IPS panel. It has wide viewing angles and gets very bright. Color accuracy on this was great too, with an advertised white color gamut of 72% NTSC and 100% coverage of sRGB. This is a great screen for a gaming laptop. Finally, let's look at the port selection. On the left, there is a USB 3.2 port, 
a USB 2.0 port, audio and microphone jacks. On the right, there is another USB 3.2 port, mini display 1.2 port and a full size SD card reader. On the back, there is a USB Type-C port with display port 1.4 but no Thunderbolt, HDMI 2.0 port, RJ45 Ethernet jack and the power connector. Overall, the Aorus 5 is a great gaming laptop with good specs. It can run most games at high settings and has a great screen. Though it has a plastic build, it is very sturdy. If you want to check out this laptop for yourselves, I will leave some links in the description below. It's giveaway time! Do you want to win yourself some cool Aorus merch? Just follow these steps. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, follow my Instagram account and comment I love the Aorus 15G. More details and the link to the giveaway will be in the description below. The giveaway lasts till 11th of November so be sure to participate. Once again a big thank you to Aorus for sponsoring this giveaway. Be sure to check out the Aorus 15G in the links in the description below. Do let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!